I was working on my last video on how to make money on YouTube with digital products and I realized that this video required a video of its own because there is so much information that needs to be understood before you start making money with digital products on YouTube. Creating digital products can be very abstract and very confusing if you are new to it. You have no clue what your options are and how many options do you really really have. So in the process you have either quit creating products owing to the overwhelm or you have created a product that is not a fit for your audience. A product which you shouldn't have created in the first place. In both the cases it was definitely not your fault. It happens because um, you did not have the entire information you need to have before you start creating products, before you start monetization with digital products. So you probably watched a video or probably read a blog post or a webinar or a podcast and jumped right into it and right, jumped right on to work. But most of these videos, most of these posts, podcasts do not give you an entire picture of how everything works together. They only tell you one piece of the puzzle. This video series on how to make money from YouTube without YouTube partner program without getting to the monetization thresholds is aimed to give you all the information that is required and piece everything together. Do watch this video till the end because if you do, you will know what options you have, what can you create and how to use them smartly so you can start monetization, you can start earning money from a small YouTube channel. In this video, we will go over a lot of digital product ideas you can sell online and then we will go through examples in different niches so you know how exactly everything works together. Hi guys, I'm Chavi, a five-figure blogger and a work from home expert. I create videos each week on how to make money online, how to work from home and live a location independent life. So do not forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out any video that we create each week. Now let's get started. The first digital product idea is ebooks and guides. Now this is one of the most popular and the easiest digital products to make and sell online. However, you need to be sure that this format works for your idea and works for your audience. So we will understand this one with one example and then later in the video, so stay with me, we will analyze more niches and how to go through and how to decide which product is the best for you. Now let's say, for example, you are in the crafting niche. If you were to sell an ebook or a guide on how to do easy crafts, it is going to be a very difficult set. Why? Because it is difficult to read and understand what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to actually do to create that DIY. Even if you have pictures in it, it gets difficult. On the other hand, if you have a video guide, people can go watch it, rewind it, watch it again until they get what you're exactly doing and learn the trick. So keep that in mind, it should work for your audience, it should work for your idea and it should work for your niche. Now ebooks and guides are very simple to create. You can hop onto Google document and start writing on them. Download them as a PDF file and you can use a software like Gumroad or Payhip. Both of them are extremely easy to set up and charge you for a fee with every sale that you make. That means you do not have a monthly fee if you pay them only if you make a sale in the first place. Now, if you have the budget to spend, if you're okay with spending, I would just close my eyes and go ahead with Teachable. It is a very hands-free platform and you can sell it anywhere, sell anywhere in this world without having to worry about a lot of requirements like tax issues. Now, just so you know, I'm talking about the European Union value-added tax that is applicable to, to anybody living in the European Union. Gumroad and Payhip also takes care of this VAT issue for you. So you can go ahead with them in the beginning. So that's everything for ebooks. The second option is to create online courses. Now, if your product is something that requires a lot of explanation, a lot of teaching, a lot of information, or showing how to do something, it is better to create a video-based course. Now, they are also very fast to make because you don't have to write everything down and edit. Courses are great for fitness, workouts, yoga, crafts, sewing, or any skill-based information like how to monetize your travel, which could also be an ebook, so the choice is yours. How to ace YouTube channel, how to start blogging, how to start something, how to do a smoky eye makeup or different party makeups, etc. 
If you plan to sell video courses or even text-based courses, Teachable is your platform to go. It is a very hands-free platform and I highly recommend it. However, online courses are something you should opt for once you have built a decent amount of community. The decent number would be something like a thousand subscribers or more. Your next option are to create worksheets. Now, worksheets are like fill in the blanks or a fillable PDF. They are a set of questions that help people understand their problem, uh, help people understand their options and the next steps that they need to take. Now, you can have worksheets in your niche if it is more of an information or action-oriented subject. So, for example, you can do how to find your niche, how to set your goals, how to set your budget, or budgeting worksheets, goal planners, etc. Now, worksheets and fillable PDFs are also very easy to make. You can go ahead with Gumroad or Payheap to sell them. You can hop onto Google Docs or Canva to create them. The next up is content templates or swipe copies. Now, these could be a template for anything, depending upon what your niche is. It could be 10 resume templates, email campaign templates, pitching templates, etc. Now, you can put all of them together into a zip file and use Gumroad or Payheap to sell them. Again, you can easily create this on Google Docs or Canva or even Keynote if you're using a Mac product. The next up is coaching. This is not as much a digital product as it is a service. So you're basically wearing a hat of a teacher and helping out people wanting to learn a new skill, a skill that you can teach them. Now you can provide one-on-one -on -one coaching or one-to-many coaching depending upon what you like and use Zoom for it. Now you can provide coaching about different subjects like life, relationships, workout, dieting and fitness, growing an online business, using cameras correctly, career counseling, social media platforms, etc. To schedule your calls, you can easily use Calendly or Equity Scheduling to let people schedule in discovery calls with you easily without having those weird back and forths and emails about what time are you free, is does this time work for you, etc. For coaching to work out as a digital product for you, you should at least have a one-page website or a landing page to help people know who you are, why they should listen to you, and what is included in your coaching program, what kind of results they can expect to have. The next up are plans. Now, these are the easiest to make. If you are in a niche that requires people to follow a process, you can sell plans very easily. So if you are a fitness coach or a dietitian, you can sell plans for that. If you are into entrepreneurship or business niche, you can sell plans for a six-figure launch for how to create a social media plans for six months. So think about it in terms of your niche and see if plans work out for you. Again, this can be sold easily as a PDF. So Gumroad and Payhip are your options with Google Doc and Canva to create them. Now, the next up is paid Facebook groups. Paid Facebook groups are a great option to make money online. But this is possible only if you have a very engaged community. So this is definitely not for you if you are a new YouTuber without at least a thousand subscribers. You should always leverage your community. Remember that. So this can help your community members to get more information from you, learn from you and get more direct access to you, which for which they are ready to pay. The next up is stock photos or stock videos. You can Think about having them, having those photos or videos and sell them online. If you have a photography website, having stock photos or stock videos and having a membership for that can really work out very well. It is very lucrative and online business owners and bloggers spend a lot of money to get a license for photos and videos that they can use anywhere they want, especially in paid products. The next option is to create graphic templates. Now, if you are good with graphics, it is worth your time to create a bundle of pins, for example, for Pinterest, social media templates, YouTube thumbnails template, Facebook cover templates, etc. Just, just go crazy with your creativity. See what people need, what people use, and what people really crib about when it comes to graphics and create those for them. People generally tend to buy these templates because it saves them a ton of time and money on hiring a graphics designer. The next up is membership website. A membership website are just like paid Facebook groups and people pay monthly to be in that membership website. Now they can get access to everything that you want to put in there. So it could be a various tutorials, a coaching program, new pin templates, new social media templates, new stock photos, videos, etc. It could be anything. A few other product ideas would be 
image or video filters, apps, plugins, themes, etc. The best way and the one that works out every time is to find out what is working for your competition, what is your competition doing, what products are they selling, what kind of problems their audience have, which you can find in the comment section of the video itself. Now let's take a few examples so you know how this works out for your niche. So let's say that you're in the fitness niche. So you can start out with simple plan because that is one thing your audience needs the most. A plan to lose weight, a plan to healthy living or meal planning or how to get a flat tummy etc. These are the kind of things people generally tend to buy. Once you start selling them and get acquainted with the process of creating digital product and monetizing them, you can offer coaching services, ebooks, video courses in that order. Offering coaching services will also give you more insight into your audience problems and the ideas for creating more ebooks, video courses and digital products. Now let's say you're in the crafting niche. You need to check out Jennifer Nagel's shop for this. She has lots of small products like ebooks, guides, cheat sheets and playbooks that you can take a look at. You can start off with smaller products like sewing shortcuts, craft room organization, workbooks, etc. Once you grow and once you build a decent following, you can create video courses on learning a specific technique. So let's say your niche is something about budgeting, kids or anything that is mom related. So you can start out with easy to use printables. You can check out Sarah Titus for inspiration. She has a lot of printables and they sell really well. You can have cleaning binders, organization binders, daily planners, goal planners, mom bundles, organization bundles, and so, so, so many more things. Check out Sarah Titus shop for that. If you are teaching anything like English, self-help, or a musical instrument, have guides for them. You can easily create guides for beginners and make it easy for them to learn that trick, learn that instrument, or learn whatever that you're teaching. You can also do video courses in this niche. Another way to monetize your YouTube channel with digital products is to actually promote somebody else's digital product, which is already selling like hotcakes. And that is known as affiliate marketing. We will cover that in the next video to come in a few days. But till then, watch the video on how to make money from YouTube channel without monetization. And if you are interested in creating your own digital product, which is a great, great, great idea, check out how to sell digital products on YouTube and everything that you need to know. You can see the links on the screen right now. So go check them out. I make videos on making money and working from home each week. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in a few days. Thank you.